Hi everyone, I'm Keith Holman, Principal Solution Architect for MySQL, and I'm going to give you a quick video into looking into how we can create our heatwave cluster. Let me share the screen. So basically we've gone into, if you've seen any other videos, we've created a MySQL database system. However, you'll want to activate a heatwave cluster. And if you've followed the videos, you'll find this following error. That's, as it says here, we're adding a heatwave cluster to MySQL database system with a shape that's a E3, one core, eight gig. That's not enough. We're gonna need to use one of the following shapes, VM standard E3 or BM standard. So basically what meant, that means we'll have to, because we've got talking analytical, we'll have to take that a little bit further. So what is that? How will we do that? Well, first of all, we go to the heatwave uh, we'd have to create a new system, okay? But this time we'd have to go into when we're creating it. Let me just do, do that quickly here. Um, you, this is one I've got prepared earlier. And you can see the enable button once we've got it done will appear. We just go into create DB system and we'd select heat wave, okay? Uh, filling everything else, but we're creating a new shape with the according system there. Once we've got that up and working, um, we've enabled it, okay? It's gone away, it's gone creating, then it's active. Okay, and this has two nodes, it's one terabyte of memory, okay, and as you can see, it's a 16 core, 512 gig RAM uh, environment. So all the data that we've loaded into the system is still in, in ODB, okay, heat waves activated, we could have used a pre-authenticated re request from our um, bucket here that we had previously. And if you want to know more information around uh, heat wave, you can look at the documentation. But right now, if we follow those steps, as I say, found that, that error. You create a DB system and you add Heatwave in there. We'll get one of these that say it's enabled. Okay, so we can just literally now go to the following. Let me share the screen here. Get your pause button ready because it's all here. So basically what we've gone and done is we've added a secondary engine, okay, uh, into the system. We've come, added this comment to the table for this specific column. This error means I've already done it in before because I wanted to make things easier, okay. Uh, you're not on the replicant table, okay? So they're not allowed there uh, because it was already done. Okay, so I can select the tables that are in there. You can see I haven't loaded it. So therefore I'd say the secondary, this is the command that we would use. We load with secondary load, and then you can see that's all loaded in there. Okay, and that's 100%. If it's a long, larger table, sorry, a larger column for that we're loading into the data nodes, then that would be that, okay? That would be something there. As I said, on the documentation page, you've got a lot of information. Have fun with Heatwave.